Hi everyone, Davide here, and as always, I'm bringing you news related to the situation of international students who have been waiting to enter Japan, uh, some of you for over a year. And I wanna lose time today, and I wanna go straight to my computer screen here. And here we go. First, I want to remind you that we created a website called educationsisnottourism.com that puts together basically all the messages, all the information we want to share uh, to raise awareness about the situation of international students and to show how miserable and uh, challenging is right now life for who has been stranded outside Japan, who has invested time, energy and money to go to Japan to study and after one year hasn't heard from the government a single word about when and how they will be able to enter Japan. So we put everything together and we are sharing this website as much as we can. The site is also in Japanese because we want to mostly reach Japanese people, uh, decision makers, uh, media, and of course the government to raise awareness about the situation of students and make sure that they will prioritize international students when they release, uh, when they ease the borders uh, next. Um, you can find in this website, um, in the section called Gakusai no Anashi, um, all, uh, some of the stories we collected. We will keep adding stories. Uh, um, since we collected over 850 stories from students from all over the world. Again, a huge thank of all of you to sharing your story. I know it's not easy to, to talk about your difficult situation and putting your name and everything, but it's very important that they know that there are thousands of people in this situation because you all have invested a long term with Japan and you need to know when and how you can enter Japan, hopefully as soon as possible. So please check uh, the stories here. You know, you can see what uh, each one of, of you have uh, um, said about you know um, why you're studying Japanese but also what does it mean for you not being able to enter Japan and how long you can still wait before giving up with your dream of studying in Japan. You can also find the videos that I'm uploading to this channel. Huge thank you for everyone that has reached me in the past couple of weeks to uh, ask to be interviewed and share the story to help to raise awareness. Uh, that's huge that you show, you know, also in video your face and your stories. I know it's not easy, but really helps a lot. I will be uploading more student stories in the next uh, day since I've, I've already interviewed a uh, few more of you. That's really helpful. We are all together in this and we will manage to, to come to Japan and we will be heard for sure. I want to talk next about the, uh, how the vaccination is going. Um, Japan's vaccine minister Taro Kono said countries are administering 800,000 doses per day and expect to reach 1 million by the end of June. As I said in my uh, videos before, I think that's very important because the more Japan population will be vaccinated, uh, lower the coronavirus cases, lower the infection will spread, less people in the hospital for, for the COVID-19, and uh, much earlier, much easier would be to uh, open borders to students and to uh, international uh, business workers and also at some point travelers as well. So it's very important we keep an eye on it. And uh, um, another related news is that Japan state-run mass coronavirus vaccination center will start inoculating people aged between 18 and 64 on Thursday, which is tomorrow. So uh, earlier than expected, they will already start uh, inoculating uh, basically everyone uh, from tomorrow. Still, there are some um, difficulties because uh, there is a coupon system that you need to receive a paper to submit the application. Uh, however, some people have already received and the fact that they will start from tomorrow in instead of uh, next week or the end of the month, like, we like they said, uh, uh, inoculating also younger people is probably why uh, Taro Kono um, said confidently that they will um, reach a million doses per day. Um, as you can see here, the data, we have about uh, 736,000 that were vaccinated yesterday. Um, the week before, we were close to 800,000. That's why the minister said 800,000 will speed up and we will see the cases also reduce further. Uh, yesterday, we had uh, 1,387 cases, which is, again, the number is going down and the total active cases are going down. I think they need to go uh, even further down uh, to, to guarantee that you know, there are not many people in the hospital, but the direction uh, it's good. And I really hope that this will bring some good news for international students uh, soon. Um, one news that came up uh, yesterday, a little bit out of nowhere, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, however, I think it's a good news in perspective, even if it's related to tourism, uh, is that um, for, uh, I'm reading from here, 
in order to uh, basically the government decided on the 15th of june 2021 um in the edition of the white paper on tourism um, at the cabinet meeting so basically it's an official document that has been decided so it's not a proposal it's something that has been discussed in the government uh, at yesterday's cabinet meeting and has been approved that in order to gradually recover the number of foreign visitors to japan which plumbed due to the effect of the new coronavirus the government clearly stated its policy to conduct small dispersed package tours from this fiscal year so um, i want to clarify a bit what this means first of all fiscal year in japan ends not in december but in march of next year so um, until the end of march 2022 they want to start having tourists in japan they're not talking about mass tourism yet uh, they're seeing specific groups probably it will depend on also the country the, the agreements between countries and uh, and it will probably assign this to uh, maybe JNTO it is the Japan National Tourism Organization so it will be kind of selected groups but they are already talking about tourism uh, tourists to come to Japan and doesn't need to be the very last day of March next year that's by that date so it could even be a bit earlier than that that they start this tourism and then maybe we have already March April uh, more more tourists allowed and also private uh, groups or private individuals that can enter Japan at that point so it, it doesn't have to be next year is by the by March of next year and based on this news also this news was reported in several places with more or different uh, slightly different information I'm reading here the part in yellow they said the part four of the 20 uh, 21 white paper on tourism which was approved by the cabinet on june 15 2021 specifies the measures to be implemented in the financial year again the year that ends in march next year to deal with the new coronavirus infection and revive tourism it also indicates that the appropriate division of roles between the japan national tourism organization gnto and local communities so basically gnto will be kind of uh, uh, supervising this uh, this first uh, inbound uh, of tourism um, for and then going down here uh, I think this part in uh, in bold I want to read facilitation of entry and exit vacation reform and tourism education in addition as part of the development of tourism infrastructure the government will also work on the facilitation of entry and exit in order to realize innovative immigration procedure using instead of the art technology the world's first immigration check package will be introduced and the world's highest levels of technology will be used to reduce the waiting time at airport immigration checkpoints to less than 20 minutes so i think when they talk about facilitation of, of entry and exit it's a key message that they are discussing uh procedures to let foreigners in and uh, I cannot say for sure because no one knows these things for sure until they are communicated to us and and people are not and the government is not really communicating uh, about students however i cannot see i really would be disgusted uh, surprised and disgusted but i cannot imagine that they will let tourists enter before students so surely international students and and business truck business workers will enter before tourists so if they're planning to let certain groups of tourists uh, and reducing the, the waiting line if they're talking about entry procedure for tourists by the end of march next year i think for students they are talking to let them enter much much earlier so we had um, i think we should take this news as another piece of information uh, that is showing that things are moving are moving uh, slowly but in the right direction because we had last week the news or two weeks ago the news about uh, max students uh, we had actually few max students already coming in japan so that news was 100 percent accurate and also students already arrived in japan so that was confirmed um, and also we are having now talks about tourism i know that language schools are continuously pressuring pressuring uh, the government about letting also language students and uh, university students of course to enter the country so hope this lead to some good news uh, soon uh, however of course we cannot be sure uh, what i can do is to continue to spread awareness about the situation pressure as much as possible the government with the help of course of all the schools and the website that we created together uh, and report the news when they come so i will do my best to do so last thing i want to i want to share with you uh, is this tweet that came from uh, the ministry of education uh, next um, that says that basically for Japanese 
students in Japan, so Japanese national, that want to go to study abroad, so the opposite of what we are waiting to do, uh, you can get vaccinated, you can get an English certificate, and then you can go to study. Because most of the world is accepting students, including Japanese, but is, Japan is not accepting foreign students, which is already wrong. And this message, although it's a good news for Japanese students, we, we think they should be able to go outside, but is ignoring, and the Minister of Education should really say something about, together with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, they are ignoring the situation of international students waiting to enter Japan. So I suggest you to write about, you know, your feelings here, telling about, please consider also international students. I've been waiting for so long. I've been struggling because of this. Please let me know if I have also the same certificate. Can I come, can I, vaccine certificate, can I come to Japan or when can I come to Japan? And I replied here, uh, I want to share just my reply. Uh, I just replied a couple of hours ago, actually. And, and what I said here, I'm just going to use Google Translate, even though I, I wrote that. But uh, please tell us um, when students who wish to study in Japan can enter Japan. Many of the students are young people who have spent many years preparing to study in Japan. They are qualitatively very different from those who come to Japan for sex scene and sporting events and will be members uh, or partners of Japan in the future. So the point here. Please let us know about international students that want to enter Japan. What's your plan? What, what, what's, when the decision is going to come? And also understand that who's coming to Japan to study is long-term committed. Uh, you cannot prioritize Olympic athletes. You cannot prioritize uh, who coming. You cannot compare who comes for sex scene or for short term to international students. Uh, we all going to be long-term member of the Japan society and partners with Japan because we're going to learn the language, we're going to study in Japan and in the future of our lives we're going to contribute to Japan society. So we need an answer right now. Uh, so that's what I wrote. I suggest you know to go there and also let your voice heard as much as possible. You can follow the Minister of Education, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and when they mention about border policies or internet or study abroad, you can let them uh, know um, your situation as well. I don't know how much they uh, check those, but I think there is someone uh, that is in charge of the community management since they post regularly and it's important to let them know about uh, the situation. As always, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Uh, we'll leave the link in the description and every every other page that I've showed to you, every other link that I showed to you will be also uh, written in the description. Uh, please continue to support and help me to spread awareness about the situation of international student sharing this video, liking this video, so more people, we can reach more people on YouTube and on other social media. Please support me and all the other students that have shared their stories, they put their name and they've shared their stories uh, in educationisnotourism.com website, sharing the website and trying to reach as many people as possible. I think it's very important now that um, uh, we talk about the situation and everyone understand how miserable, how unfair is the situation of international students right now and hopefully some action will be taken soon. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Matane!